Hello. So in light of me showing you my necklaces, I thought I would show you my bracelets. I just had a shower, so my, I put my hair in a braid and that's why my hair looks weird up here. I didn't usually used to collect bracelets, bracelets, and I didn't used to like bracelets that much, but I've recently got into them. So I'll show you. So watches. I have this smartwatch. It's currently off. This smartwatch. It's currently off. It's a Galaxy um, S21. I don't know if that's right. It's a Galaxy watch, okay? That's just all I know. Rose gold. Cute. Got that as a gift last year. And I also got this watch as a gift last year, too. Got this G-Shock. And the time is right. It is 626. I like that it takes, or it, it had it. Wow, I can't speak. <sighs> I like that it keeps track of the seconds and the time and the date. It's a really cool one. Oh, it has a light, really cool. Cool. You can't really tell because it's really bright with the fucking flash on. Um, next, this is my favorite bracelet, and I got it like probably two months ago now, maybe a month, and I got it at a thrift store. I think it's beautiful. I love the colors so much. I wear that one all the time. This one I also got at a thrift store about a month or two ago. It is Tiffany from 2005. Um, I haven't found how much this is online, but I spent $30. $30 for a Tiffany bracelet at a Value Village. That's fucking right. And I also found this one at a Value Village as well. Um, it was actually beside the other one. So I got these both on the same day or like a day apart. It's a Kate Spade and it has a claspy thing here. To get it on and off. This one's much less cool. I wear this fucking Tiffany one all the fucking time. I love it. I think it's beautiful. So these are my two favorite bracelets of all time. Both of them re really recently got. And this one's pretty cute too. I'm gonna have a problem with this uh, focusing. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Okay, next I got this one. Surprise! Thrift store. Um, I just recently discovered that thrift stores have jewelry. I think that's beautiful. I love the colors. I haven't worn it outside of the first day I had it. This one I have worn a few times. This one I also got at a thrift store. It is beautiful. I absolutely love this one. This one is... I'm gonna put them in order. Okay, this one, that one. That's my next favorite one. That one's over here. That one's over here too. Uh, this one, surprise! I also got it at a fucking thrift store. These ones were like two or three dollars, both of this one and this one. And I got these two on the same day. They were like sitting beside each other. So I have a feeling they were the same person's bracelets. And they were getting rid of stuff for some reason. This one is my most sentimental one. I got this. It's an actual silver old school bracelet with Hawaii Maui. And I also have this charm of a lizard from that trip with my mom. I got this in... Hawaii or San Francisco. I'm oh, sorry, it was San Francisco. And I also got this charm while we were there in San Francisco. And I got this little charm of sea lions. That was my favorite part of the trip. Same with the lizards and the other thing. And then Las Vegas. I also went on a trip to Las Vegas with my mom. So this is all about trips with my mom on a silver bracelet. So that's probably my favorite one ever. I don't wear it as often because I don't want to lose it. Watches are just watches. I'm not going to put them in my favorite stuff, okay? But there is like a uh, kind of um, hierarchy of bracelets going. This I also found at a fucking thrift store. I'm pretty sure it's a Pandora. I don't know. I don't know how. I'm guessing you put charms on it. I also got this one a long time ago from my mom. This one is a charm, or this one is a Pandora bracelet. So there's that, and there's this cute little owl. Actually, I think that, no, I'm wrong. So this charm bracelet, I found this one elsewhere and I was like, please return that. I, I love the little owl. So the owl I think is from Pandora, but the bracelet itself is from like somewhere cheaper that I found. So this bracelet might be Pandora, but might not be. They're like identical. 
I don't like either of them that much though, <laughs> to be honest. I don't wear them really ever. It's a cute little dish that I should actually keep out. Oh, I found this at a thrift store. <laughs> Speaking of this, it holds my jewelry. It's bow ring, so it's a great quality. Um, yeah. If you know anything about like glass and metal and crystal and blah blah blah. This I showed you in my necklace video by accident. It's like a Beauty and the Beast bracelet with buttons from Hot Topic. That one's not my favorite, but it's pretty freaking cute. Kind of like the watches. Sorry, it's kind of like the watches in which they are just not awesome to wear. This I found at a Winners, the Winners I worked at. I like it because there's woodland animals on it. There's like a pine cone, an owl, a squirrel, and a nut, an acorn, I mean. I think that one's really cute. Um, I'll put that one there. I think that one is around there. This is an anklet, so... I lost two other anklets just like it. <laughs> this one is... I think I wore this as an anklet as well. Yes, this is an anklet as well. Uh, solar system. Um, so I'll put anklets back in the box here. This is a tennis bracelet that I got in a charmed aroma candle or um, bath bomb. I can't remember. I think it was a candle. So I got this. Um, I'm gonna put that, I like it, I think around there. Uh, yeah. And this is another anklet. I had this for a long time, it was also in my necklace video. My bad, I'm gonna put it back here. This one is, uh, a bracelet I got a while ago at Hot Topic. I feel like this was also in the necklace video, my bad. So, those are my anklets. I have four anklets. And that's my hierarchy of bracelets so far. But wait, there's more. <laughs> this one I got thrift shopping like a week or two ago. It's so simple, just like a brass with an octopus. Um, I'm going to stop putting them in order because those ones here are my favorite ones and the rest of them here are not my fave. So I'll show you that. This I got a long time ago at the Royal Tyrell Museum, I think as a child. So yeah, I remember that somehow. Um, it's awesome. Texture. The look of it is very unique. I love unique pieces. This is just a pink one I've had since I was a kid. It's very flexible and bendy and like malleable. Same with this one. I've also had this one since I was a kid. It says save the whales. I fucking love that shit. Uh, <laughs> this one is a bracelet. I got this from Devlin's mom. I wear it all the time actually. This one is really nice. I'm gonna put this out here. I don't know why I wasn't. Um, I'll, uh, that one should be, sorry, there we go, that one should go after this, just so you know, there we go, just like that, 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 there we go. This one I got at a thrift store very recently, I've never worn it, I think it's really cool and fun and interesting. These two are from my childhood, these are the OG charm bracelets from when I was a kid. I'm 27, to put that into perspective. I remember this very well. My uncle and my dad and everyone in my life actually contributed to this. This is super sentimental. I love these. Um, these are like in a whole different spot, kind of like with that charm bracelet, so they're like, I don't wear them all the time, but they're, they mean a lot to me. Next, my bear bracelet for, for the zoo. <laughs> The Calgary Zoo. I love the zoo if you haven't seen those videos. <laughs> this I got at a thrift store quite a long time ago, I think. Lotus Flower. It's really easy to wear. I'm gonna put this in my purse actually as emergency jewelry. That is something I do, yes. This is an owl bracelet. I recently got this at a thrift store. I think it's so cute it clasps like that. I actually got this big jewelry holder for bracelets but I wanted to move, so I put this all in the box. I got this also at a thrift store. These are from Banff, Alberta, which is like my favorite place in the world. And it's like a, has little animals on it. I think it's beautiful. Um, next, I have this gold cuff that I just wear as like an extra thing sometimes. Not my fave, but it's pretty cute. 
Okay. All of these are those ones except for this. This is an anklet. This is an anklet I wear quite often, actually. I don't know why I got in there. So those are my anklets. I have five anklets, I guess. You okay, buddy? Slump in your ear, baby. Your ear bothering you, honey. One sec, I'll deal with you in a minute, okay, baby? Next, my Pandora bracelet that I bought for myself. I think this is so cute. It has a happy face and a four-leaf clover and a heart, if you can see that. And I also got this little extender because it was a little bit tight. This is like the smallest bracelet that you can get. Like this, they are, they are sized, right? Oh, I have to take a fucking breath sometimes, Jesus. Okay. And last but not least is all of this kind of bracelet. So this one is a thick one. It has like three strands. My mom got me that a long time ago. I got myself this one. It's opal. That one is one of my favorites. And this one is from my cousin. That one's cute. I've had that for a long time. I'm wrong. This one's from my cousin. My bad. This one is from my cousin from like a long, long time ago. I don't wear that often. It's pretty plain and simple. This one I bought myself. It pinches quite a lot, so I don't love that one. Um, this one is one of my faves. I bought it um, after my brunch with my quote-unquote bridesmaids. I didn't actually give them that title, but I bought that with them when we went rock and gem shopping right after that brunch. Those were my faves. That one I bought for myself. That one's just like an iconic color. I love that. This one is one of my favorite gems, Botswana Agate and it doesn't pinch at all. I love that bracelet a lot. This one is from my aunt, long, long, long time ago. Um, this one I bought myself. I love it, it's very pretty. It's Labradorite. If you see like that glistening kind of in it, I think it's beautiful. Uh, this one is one of my faves too. I love to wear this one and Dalmatian Jasper. And I think this is picture, uh, pic or, uh, Costco, Picasso Jasper. So those three I wear together often. I love those three. And then this one I also got, I can't remember actually. Oh, um, I think this is from Devlin's mom. I can't be sure though. I like that one. This one kind of pinches a little bit as well and I'm not always, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like tighter than usual. This one I got pretty recently with my friend at the Rock and Gem show. It is one of my faves as well. This one I got recently at a thrift store. I love that little peace sign. It was like a dollar or two and I could not believe it. That is one of the most beautiful ones I've ever had. So, and then this one is from, I think Devlin's mom, yes. One year she gave me that rose gold necklace and she gave me this as well. So I think that's really pretty, very unique compared to the other ones. The citrine is my absolute favorite one. Uh, I wear this one the most. I've had this the longest, and I love citrine more than any other gem. It's like my first found gem. This one is awesome because it has a fuck ton of gems in it. So that one is one of my favorites as well. And this one is also from Devlin's mom, Sherry, I'm pretty sure, or Devlin, I can't remember. Both of these are from one or the other of them. So I just know that because I usually wouldn't buy myself rose gold, but I was like, damn, you guys know what's up. Okay, that was fun. That was scary. That was hard. Um, I'm gonna separate the ones that I absolutely love so much by the ones that I don't love as fucking much. And then I'm gonna put the ones that I absolutely love so much, like these ones, all into a pile out here. And then the other ones are gonna go into the box into a safe space. And that's what I'm gonna do now. Thanks for watching. Later. Take care. Um, spread positivity however you can. If you can. Sometimes you just can't though. I get it. Look at that fucking cool tapestry I put up. Killing it. Bye.